Hello everybody, welcome to a game called Real Horror Stories Ultimate Edition. Another game that's kind of been floating around in my Steam library for ages and I just, I don't remember how I acquired it. I probably got it in some sale or something. Now, I think I've said before, what I like about doing these gaming videos, it gives me a chance to go through my library and just I try out games that I probably wouldn't have ever got around to otherwise. As usual, I'm just going into this blind. New. Real horror stories. Stories tell of the dark forest. Many lives have been lost here. You are now at the entrance of terror. Do you dare to enter? Aren't you afraid of death? I am actually, but you're only giving me one option, so I'm gonna have to enter, aren't I? Alright, okay. Blood dripping from a tree. Seems to make a, a gunshot noise when I press that. Oh, okay, I'm lighting something there. Oh. So you got to click multiple times. All right. So it's a bit of a point and click type of thing. Oh god. Hello old lady. Don't be sad. Please don't be sad. Just kind of moving my mouse around the screen trying to find something that lets me click. I could blow the candle out again if I feel like it. I can do something with this doll but... Doesn't seem to do anything this time. Blow the candle out again, maybe? Oh, here we go. Ah. Okay. Light the candle again, maybe? Blow it out? No, that's the last time I can light that. <sighs> Oh, okay. Kind of reminds me of those, you remember those old apps where you could take a photograph and it would make a ghost appear in the background? Kind of reminds me of those type of things. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh. I thought there was something I could do with that picture, but it seems like... I don't know. It doesn't seem like this. Hmm. Very strange. Very strange. My mouse has gone a bit weird, as usual. Hmm. Is there something else to click? I don't know, there doesn't seem to be anything to do. I can bring this spooky picture of a child up. Is there somewhere else I can click? Or I can click on a doll and make a strange gunshot noise. I'm doing right clicks as well, but that doesn't seem to do anything. Had a jam sandwich, have you? <laughs> ah! <sighs> oh, give me a mild fright that one. That was a mild spook. I'll admit it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Quite like the style, this little animation style. 
it's, it reminds me a bit of them M. Dicky games. You ever played them, like Wrestling Empire and stuff? Well, the wrestlers are sort of... They look a bit like that, sort of cut out. It's like a spooky version of an M. Dicky game. Can I, like, do something with this swing? Looks like a face there. I don't think it is, though. Eerie game. Yeah, so clicking repeatedly on a swing seems to make the sound of a child laugh creepily in the background. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I'm liking the style of this game. Um, gameplay wise, I feel like I'm just clicking randomly on things until something happens. You know, oh. okay. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't feel like I'm really figuring something out myself. You just sort of move your pointer around until you see something that you can click on. Go on, have a look. Your child's back. Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> This game is weird, man. Right, okay, see if we can get that child to come back. He stopped crying finally. Good. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> okay. This game is insane. Pregnant woman found butchered. Killer unknown. A heavily pregnant woman who was days away from giving birth was hacked to death in a horrific and brutal attack. She was 40 weeks pregnant and had a distinctive tattoo of a pentagram on her right shoulder. She was found not far away from where she used to go every evening for a walk. All right. Oh, a jump scare. Okay, this this might be a bit of a puzzle, is it? Do I actually... Oh, yeah, here we go. Here's a bit of gameplay. This isn't just random clicking. Um, oh, there we go. Do I need to get it right lined up? That's close enough, isn't it, surely? Oh no, I can't. I can't click that bit. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I see. Okay. Kind of clicks into place. Uh -huh. Um. Oh, oh, bloody hell! So clicking down here takes you back to. God damn it! That's really annoying. I was trying to click down here on whatever thing I'd put down here, but that that there, if you click here, it takes you back to the screen and resets all the work you've done. Oh. Good. Uh, this looks like it fits here. No? this maybe not maybe not hmm ah this one and that's in place now okay all right, we're getting something. We're getting something together. There we go. Look, there's a bit there. Let's get this out of the way. Obviously, they would need to get the picture. There we are. There. Yes. Uh huh. Oh yeah, I 
I don't mind I don't mind this bit at all, this is quite cool. Ah. Search for missing children focuses on local forest. Um So yeah, children have gone missing. Hundreds died in a fire. Oh, oh! Alright, there we go. I must have got to a checkpoint of some sort. <clears throat> Not bad so far. I like they actually did give me something to do there. I, I, before that little jigsaw puzzle, it felt like I was just doing a lot of random clicking around. It's quite, it's quite a nice little game so far. Quite a few cheesy jump scare moments, which were... Hmm... Bit corny. Is that an eyeball there? Yeah, I'm not sure if I'd like this bit where you just. It seems like you just click randomly, but then when you click multiple times, it does things. Eventually, it's it's weird. It's like I think maybe if it the the clicks made like different sounds, so you you kind of got an idea that you were making some kind of progress. Rather than just clicking away randomly. Oh. oh. There's blood there now. Okay. Uh huh. We've uncovered a skull. There goes that shadow. Hmm. Is this achieving anything? It's all a bit random really, I don't know. I like the spooky eyes in the background. Oh there you go. Oh there's like random things to find in the soil there. Oh! Let's see if there's any... Huh, she was smiley wasn't she? Okay. Yeah. Ah, I see. Ah, let's get them all. Yeah, I see. Spooky children. Oh, look at this. Ugh. Okay, this game's getting a bit more gory now. Hmm. <laughs> Spiders, yes. Yes, very good. Ah, ritualistic, is it? Oh, well, I've got to light all the candles, I think. Was that shadow again? Okay. Just interfere with this corpse for a while. I don't know if this is achieving anything. Seems to be. I don't know. Oh, here comes a spider coming back. Alright, see you later, spider. Nice seeing you, spider. The ritual is complete. Ah, the skull got got me. Yeah, I, I don't find those random things jumping into the screen very effective. <laughs> oh, that one maybe. <laughs> Most of them weren't very scary. That one kind of gave me a bit of a spook. Five. Does that say demons danced around in a circle? Yeah. It does. 
Okay. Hmm. It's just random clicking this game. It's not. There's not really much to it. I, lo I love the style of it. I've got to admit, I do like this cutout style. Kind of, it's kind of thing that makes me feel like I could make a game. All right, I clicked you. Right. Okay. Thank you. If I feel like the game gets a bit bored after a while and tells you where to click. Puts those red things on the screen. No, you're meant to click here. Yeah. All right. Is that it? Wait, am I done here? I don't know. <laughs> uh, look at that guy's face as well. He's so smug. Yeah, I don't know. The the problem is it's it's the fact that you've got to sometimes click multiple times in the same place to get it to do anything. So. Uh, uh. Yeah, I've seen that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So here's a, here's an actual thing to do, but it's not doing anything now. Like, uh. it's like it, it does it sometimes. I don't know what this. I mean, I'm clearly got to do. It's just so it's so awkward where you've got to click. Ding, cling, 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 cling. There we go. It did it for me. Just the 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 areas where you had to click were really like specific, so it's hard to see when it gives you no indication of where you meant to click. Oh well, right. I worked out eventually. Goodbye. Oh, he, he's staying. That's good. Thank God. All right, into the cave. Hmm. Oh, another checkpoint. Save. I created an effect like this from one of my videos. I did one about a caving disaster and I took an image like this but had, had it like endlessly repeating so that the video made you feel like you were going into a cave endlessly oh look at this oh gross let's interfere with this corpse a bit yeah the problem the problem with this like clicking thing is I could be clicking forever and ever and not doing anything or something could magically happen if I click enough times. That's what I feel like with this game. It's hard to tell. Hard to tell whether my clicking's doing anything or not. And then sometimes you've got to like click somewhere else and then go back and click another thing. But there doesn't seem to be like any indication that. Oh, thanks. Yeah, see, the, the game got bored there and told me where to click, I think. But see, now there's. Now there's nothing to click over here. Strange. We kind of got to scan over the map to see if there's anything. You see if the pointer turns into a hand to indicate that you can click on something. Yeah, just interfere with the corpse for a bit and then click over here maybe. Ah, okay, yeah. Clank, 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 clank. Oh, there's the bats again. Oh, there's that shadow being. Yep, there he goes. Always in a hurry, that shadow, that shadow creature. Always seems to be in a hurry to get somewhere. Just needs to slow down a bit. Oh, here we go. Oh! Click on the skull, click on the body. Yep. Oh, 
with some eyes. Uh, they look like them sweets I used to get when I was a kid. They were like sugar mice. Remember them? Remember sugar mice? They were probably the most unhealthy thing in the world. Just big, like a big mouse shaped mass of sugar with a with an actual string going through it that was the tail and you'd hang on to the string and just drop this gigantic lump of sugar into your mouth wow i don't i can't believe that those things still exist if they do i don't think they would probably banned by the government being too unhealthy or something all right i've lit the candles Okay, let's blow them out again. Yeah. Find find the invisible thing to click, I suppose. No, 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 no. Maybe I've got to, maybe I've got to blow out certain candles. I was trying to, I was trying to build like a pentagram here. Uh, I think it maybe I, I light them in a certain order. I don't know. This is beat me. Let me let me Google the answer here. Okay, someone's saying, the tips are wrong. You only want four of the nine candles lit. Starting from the top with the candle in the 12 o'clock position, you want 12, two, well, that'll be two, wouldn't it? Five and seven. Okay, there we go. So I don't know how I would have ever worked that out rather than just lighting candles at random. So thank you, random Steam forum user. That was the most obscure puzzle ever. How how would I ever work that out? There was absolutely no hints or anything. <laughs> oh, it's Pazuzu. All right, all right. A bit of human sacrifice, is it? Okay. Click on the sigil here, the seal. Yeah, keep that lit. Oh, hello. Hello there. Some kind of uh, Lovecraftian horror there. Oh, oh, got me. Ah, here's that shadow fella. I wonder if that's the person I've been seeing rushing about all this time. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand how you would have ever worked out that can candle puzzle. So, I, I have no qualms whatsoever about uh, cheating to find the answers. Oh, oh God, no! Don't chop her head off. That's very bad behaviour. She needs that head. Get that sigil lit. That seal. The sacrifice. Yeah. Oh, she's she's up. She's like, what the hell has happened? My head is killing me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do like the style of this game. I think it looks cool. Like, so it sort of looks a bit cardboard cutout sort of thing. It's it's very unique looking. I I, I do enjoy the weirdness of this game, but I, I'm not sure about the gameplay. Just a lot of random clicking about. Oh uh, well, I think I think I'm gonna end it here. I don't know, like how how long's the stages?
I didn't save shit. Oh, well, I'll have to get through. There's the Pope, look. Lava demon. <laughs> this is a weird image, isn't it? I'm just clicking around randomly as usual. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, he's doing something here. Something's going to pop out of his chest, I bet. Oh no, he just fully exploded. Okay, what about yeah, the Pope's going to do the same thing as, by the looks of it. Look at his little feet flapping about. Oh! So that was different, okay. Yeah, I, do, I don't know. I like... as, as daft as this game is, I'm, I am slightly intrigued by it. I kind of like the style. I am I am literally just clicking it randomly on things until something happens most of the time. And that candle puzzle was complete rubbish. Thank God someone with more patience than me and managed to work it out because it seems like that would have been just randomly lighting and snuffing out candles until something happens. Didn't seem like there was any like hint or clue as to what the right order was or anything like that. Right, are we are we are we just are we just repeatedly clicking on the bodies now? I mean, there's weird obscure puzzles, isn't there? And then there's just a load of random crap with no rhyme or reason to it. And this is the latter for the most part. I quite enjoyed the uh the jigsaw puzzle puzzle and I l that bit where I had to draw the pentagram at least made sense most of the rest of the game I just feel like it's I don't know what it really wants me to do and it, you know then here I feel like I've got to a bit where I'm I feel like I've got to a point where I'm not too interested in continuing but I quite like what I've, I've experienced so far it's been kind of amusing and weird and a little bit creepy uh, I I'm not sure if I recommend it I'm not sure you want to have a little weird experience waste half an hour or so yeah it's all right but uh, uh only if it's very cheap on steam i don't know how much it costs but um yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't pay too much for this game it's it's a bit it's a bit bare bones the actual gameplay experience um but yeah you can you can tell they've put a bit of effort into it you know putting all this together it's they've created a quite a unique weird atmosphere so uh, i've got to give them credit a, a bit for that anyway this has been uh, Real Horror Stories Ultimate Edition and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. <laughs>